The previous night was rough, having difficulties with the boat, the scooter, and the campsite. But we were waking up to a new day and a fresh start, and it was going to be great, despite the fact that our breakfast had gone bad, the bugs were taking over our stuff, and the scooter wouldn't start. But those are all small details in the grand scheme of the trip. Let's pick up where we left off. Welcome back to Vaughn's World. The mission was simple. Find the views that make it all worth the trouble. The stuff everyone keeps talking about. The kind of adventure that offsets the cost of getting here. So we've driven like maybe 30 minutes away from the closest tourist. But here, there's like this little path that leads to the rocks. And it looks pretty cool. I don't know how far down we can go. But a lot of the local people somehow get themselves on top of these massive rocks close to the water to go fishing. And uh, I guess they're just learning from all the mountain goats that also live here because it's pretty impressive. So we can actually go down here quite easily. There's a lot of grass. No wonder the goats love it here. This is cool, I'll give you that. It's unlike anything I've seen so far in Taiwan. It's hard to be here though, I feel dizzy. And I'm the only one that knows how to scooter. So it's just too hard to be in the sun for this long without any shade, very little water. Just after not sleeping or eating that much, it's kind of difficult. It's beautiful, it is beautiful. I think these ones are wild. They don't have anything in their ears. It's amazing how they can walk like that. I know, it's amazing. Good news. I'm losing weight. All in water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not in a healthy way. Just losing weight. Anyway, we are finding stuff that is really cool. Yeah. I'm not going to say that Orchid Island has fully redeemed itself yet. Yeah. But it is cool, it is really beautiful here. Yeah. The beauty of the island is deep. The silence and the fresh breeze make it better. Even in town, it's nice to avoid pigs and chickens rather than taxis for a change. has gone somewhere to get water, just in there. Now we have a choice to make. We can either go into the mountains and cut the whole island in half and go back towards our home, or we can go this way. Um, but it's like 10 times the drive to get back home if we want to go back. It's not too late right now. It's probably like four, five o'clock maybe. If we go through that one road, there's construction on the road. So we don't even know if we can go through the road. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Yo. Got some water? Yeah. All kinds of goodies. And juice. Nice. The ladies are so happy, they're just eating octopus. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. These guys got it figured out. A couple of pigs sleeping under the steps. That's smart. So do you want to go that way and go around the rest of the island? Uh-huh. Or do you want to go that way? To cross? Yeah. Because that is the road. But there's construction there. Yeah. But it's what time right now? It's uh, 2.50. Oh, wow. I thought it was like 5. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's it's two... because it's really hot. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have time to do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go around the whole island. Yeah, or we, we should. Cut I think we half. should do the whole island. Okay. Done deal. You heard the lady. We're doing the whole island. Okay. Talk to you in a little bit later. Bye. So off we went to circumnavigate the entire island. It's an easy task given that there are only two roads. One that follows the shoreline around the perimeter and one that bisects the island in the middle where it gets skinny like an hourglass. Look at 
Okay, it's slowly starting to redeem itself. This little town was super cute. There's another pig over there. I keep thinking they're dogs. They're pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There's just chickens and goats and pigs and cows. They just walk around. <laughs> Everyone's super chill. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Ollie spotted this little path on the side of the road and we think it leads to the beach. Now this, this I can get behind. There's nobody else here. It's just this little tiny beach. It's just Ollie and I. The water is like teal. It's beautiful. Might have to go swimming. I'm definitely going swimming. Beautiful beach, very soft sand once you get past the rock. But now we understand why everyone is swimming down there. Because right here, and all the way to the end, the, um, the undertow is crazy. Like, And the beach goes down smooth and then drops. If, may, if you were a surfer, you'd probably be all right. And if you had some kind of equipment too. But we're both not that good at swimming, so it's not worth the risk. This is a good photo. The scooter was sputtering and making sounds. More and more it felt like we were riding on a recycling bin full of bolts and gears. Eventually something was going to happen with the scooter and we hoped it wasn't going to be an accident. That was crazy. That 7-Eleven there has no, like, no drinks really. No water for sure, or like... No water. Bakari sweater, just like tea. That's all they had. Yeah, and milk. <laughs> and alcohol. <laughs> A lot so of it. So that's good, good sign. The more we drove, the better the island became. We were transfixed. The mountains were staggering and wild, unfettered by human touch. Each mountain goat, rock, shoreline, and tree, an ostentatious reminder that our little problems are but a microbe in the universe. Except for one little problem, the one we were driving. In the scooter saga, all of the, all of the instruments in the instrument panel don't work. So I have no idea how much gas is in there. I never know what speed I'm going. The lights don't really work. They're like intermittent at best and they're not very bright. The thing's a piece of shit. It doesn't start sometimes. The key gets jammed in it. It's just a piece of garbage. So we're, we're about to go past the scooter place and we're gonna stop. I understand being skeptical of foreigners. Shit, even I'm skeptical of most foreigners that I see. <laughs> because most foreigners are dumbasses, I'll give them that. But like they were worried about me not having scooter experience. So because of that, they gave me the shittiest scooter they had, which tells me they're more worried about their scooter than they are like another human. Anyway, we're gonna go fill them in on what's up. Bitch! Anyway, we're having fun. We're messing around, <laughs> driving these beautiful roads. <laughs> We drove back to the rental place, only to find a few drunk locals, some stray dogs, and a lot of scooters. So Ollie got on the phone. So we're at the scooter place, but there's nobody here because there's no ferries coming in right now. And um, actually, the, the only people that are here are totally destroyed. <laughs> They're over there just wrecked. Which, good on them, you know, enjoying the sun and the views and uh, more than a few beers, no problem. Ollie's pissed right now, that's her angry walk. She's getting ready for battle. 
on <laughs> so what happened when you called? No, I told them. I told them what they have to hear. I mean, the, the scooter is just way too dangerous, and they don't trust us because we're foreigners. But they gave us the crappiest of them all, so they're coming. So yeah. we're gonna switch it. Yeah. At first, she just said that we could get any. Yeah. She said, "Leave this one. Grab any that you like." Yeah. But now somebody in the background said, "I'll go help them." So they're coming. Okay. Yeah. I'm still gonna go choose one that I like. Though. Yeah. Go. <laughs> go. You can't even use the lights on it. No. If it, it, the lights, it kills the the motor. <laughs> like. <laughs> Puppy, go sniff the one that I'm gonna choose. Yeah, you're heading right towards it. <laughs> there you go. Right. Good choice. Good choice. Let's get a load of our new scooter. <laughs> nice. Fancy. All right. Oh yeah. What a what an improvement. Everything works. There's more room. It's stronger. It's faster. It's quieter. The brakes actually work super good. They apologized too, so I'll mention that. They did apologize and they gave us what we wanted. What's happening? Nothing. I'm just attracted by these little bowls. Yeah, they're pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, we found another seven. seven. I almost said seven o'clock. That doesn't make any sense. We found another 7-Eleven and we're gonna go and see. Maybe they have beer this time. Water. We need oh yeah, water. <laughs> It had been a good day. We were exhausted from the sun and our general lack of sleep, nutrition, and water. So we went back to the campsite to relax for a while. Oli took the camera and went hunting for strange bugs. And I caught up with my friend David, who we ran into a few minutes prior. <sighs> so, day two, almost over. And um, it was a good day. It was a good day. It, off to a rocky start again this morning with our lack of breakfast, but we found some good food. We had the fajitas. We haven't really eaten since then, but uh, we saw some beautiful stuff. We got our scooter sorted out. We're more prepared for the bugs this time, as you can see by my socks and sandals. And um, I ran into a buddy of mine from the main island, David. And he's staying in this exact campsite tonight, which is just by chance. I knew he was going to be on one of the islands. I couldn't remember which one. Uh, but it just so happens that he's going to be staying in one of these tents, which is crazy. We just ran into him at 7-Eleven. We got some bug spray <laughs> and sprayed the tent. We're looking good. We got some good dinner for tonight. We've showered. So it's pretty good. Is Orchid Island worth the cost? I don't know yet. I don't know. How was day two? Pretty good. Uh, there's hope. There's hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have not much to say. Hope is good. Hope is the end of pessimism. The day wore on and we became hungry. So it was time to fire up the stove once again. Imagine that, we open the tuna, and there you are. Ollie, can you uh, tell the people what's on the menu for tonight? <laughs> for tonight, we got butter sea salt bread, mm -hmm. tuna, mm -hmm. and the main course, cream soup, cream chicken soup. Cream of chicken. Cream of chicken. <laughs> and beer, finally. Just then, a couple of fellow campers became very interested in the fire steel that I had. Their curious little minds were blown by the fact that two metals can create a spark. So we showed them how to do it and they quite enjoyed themselves. You can see a special mind in a child, and these kids will grow up to be brilliant. The way they constantly learn and satisfy their curiosity with the world around them is admirable. A big shout out to their mom, who takes them camping every year and should probably win some kind of parenting award. Later in the night, we went to a local bar on the shoreline and caught up with David and Sean. The rain cooled the air. I noticed there wasn't any puddles, almost as if the ground was immune to the rain. We took a slow ride home through the town and into the mountains. The 
night sky was filled with the stars we hadn't seen in a while. The ground was covered in creatures all jockeying for the best home, while the almond trees were dropping their almonds all around. The bugs in the ocean made a loud collective noise in panoramic, but it was the consistency of this noise that lulled me to sleep that night. In a way, the sound created a silence that could not be disrupted. See you in the next one, folks. We're going into the mountains and into the water. And don't forget to subscribe.